Out of the Box Studio TV, coming to you live from Out of the Box Studio, live in Toronto, in Liberty Village, if you must know. No, no, no. I just told them I had. So you're not responsible for any of the people that. Time okay there. I just need yeah, you came in a little bit early, so I'm gonna look at you. I'm just gonna click a couple times. And go back there. Then I'm gonna go to the glasses. Cool. Put the glasses on, and then I'm gonna go down to the page. When I go down here, then start. Start. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> 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 just the way you delivered it to a friend. Hey, how you doing? My name is PJ Lazic. I'm five foot ten. Hi, my name is PJ Lazic. I'm an actor, acting coach, filmmaker, and music producer. I also run an acting studio in Toronto, Canada called Out of the Box Studio, where I work with top actors on a daily basis. My acting career started over 20 years ago and I've been credited alongside some of the biggest names in the industry. Along the way, I learned how to make films and how to coach other actors. I work with actors from all over the world, via Skype or in person, and my clients have won major awards such as Emmys and Golden Globes. Admittedly, my life is insane, but that's the way I like it. I'm a creative freak and see beauty and opportunity in everything. Welcome to my world. It's going good, man. How's it going with you? It's going good. I did my first um, uh, shoot this weekend. For yeah? Film. Yeah. And what was that for? It was for a project called uh, Of Age. I auditioned for it, and I got the part. Oh, amazing. Oh, hey, uh, how the f*** did you become an actor? Um, well, my good friend PJ Lazic uh, coached me for about a year or so, and uh, when uh, he thought I was ready, then we went out and applied to agencies and through his guidance and support I got an agent and yeah I'm working on lots of auditions are you yeah yeah like at least two or three a week I'm really yeah 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 <laughs> and how long have you had an agent for uh since July and how many parts have you booked so far I've booked two parts I feel awesome yeah you feel like an actor yes I do <laughs> wow that's hot Sick. what Actors life. What? Money yeah. for the self taper. Yeah, baby. Lots of money spent. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna yeah. bleep that part out. That's prices. <laughs> yeah. Very cheap. Very cheap. Very good price. <laughs> Only for immigrant people. <laughs> morning, morning. Yeah, it says he pulls out a gun. He or a rocket launcher. And so like la 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 And then if your guy's here, you can aim it this way. Right. Actually go up and go like this. Put the thing on it like that. Go so ahead. it looks like you handed it to me. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we'll do it right here. Uh, do you want me to like frame it up right here? Do a little... Let's call that of the uh, door frame studios. <laughs> All right, so. Let's see uh, how you look. Is the space okay? Sure. okay. Do you need help? Yeah, good. Good. Okay, I swear, Billy, my cat, finds a different place to sleep every week. He's been sleeping in my studio exactly on that spot for the last week. I swear, I've only been, I've been out of this room for half an hour, and already he's in here sleeping. Ah. Hey, buddy. Hey. Are you purring? Hi. My camera and lens just smashed all over my floor. What so happened? <laughs> what do you mean? Did you drop it? No, the tripod broke first. Oh. Like, I'm like literally like I was like shaking as I was leaving the house. Did it break? Oh, like thousand pieces. Oh my <laughs> god, dude, that's it's so horrible. I'm so sorry to hear that. This week has been hysteric for me. I had to do a Russian accent, an accent for the expanse, and then it's like now I have to do a New Jersey accent. I can't even speak now. <laughs> I think it's gonna be it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. You know how good it feels to just have that sun on my back? Drinking my coffee here. Anyway, let's follow me outside. That's impressive. Hey, Belle. Hey, sweetie. Enjoying the sunset, baby? Hey, Mama Bear. I gotta appreciate this now because, you know, 
Oh man, winter's coming. It's been a crazy week, man. I can't lie. It's not just the work I deal with. You know, it's... Dealing with the work is has its own stresses and challenges on a day-to-day -day basis. Every week, somebody is going through a personal issue. And this week, there was a lot of that. You know, it's a lot. It's a lot to deal with. And, you know, I'm happy to be there for my peeps. Happy to be, uh, to support them and help them. Uh, and in any way I can, you know what I mean? I'm a human being first, above all, and foremost. And I've been through a lot, so I feel like a lot of the times I can help people. And even if it's just in the, the smallest way, it's still relevant. Uh, but yeah. Hey, sunset, eh? Libertyville in full effect happening. Around me, behind me. Beautiful night, though. It's hot. <laughs> I have a client. She emailed me saying, Hey, I uh, just wanted to let you know I got that part. She's like, apparently the show couldn't get the star they wanted, so they cast her in the role. <laughs> and she said, you know, it feels like it's a consolation prize. Consolation prize. Consolation prize. prize. Consolation prize. Come on, look. I know we need to have healthy egos and you want to feel like you're the one and it was like meant for you and like once we saw you do it, we couldn't imagine anyone else. Like, I mean, that's what we all want, but it's not always the case. And here, let me break it down for you. For those people who don't know, when productions are um, getting going, uh, they're getting their funding in order, it's like every single production wishes that they had the biggest names and stars possible. Like that goes without saying, who wouldn't want that? So you'll have these casting sessions happen where they get you know everybody else to come in and actually read for it and audition for the part. Uh, but in the meantime, they're just straight up offering that part in the background to actors who have a name and who are already really, really, really well established, right? And if one of them happened to take it, then eh, everybody who auditioned for it, tough titty. In one way, you, you can look at it like, oh, well, that's really discouraging. Like, you know, well, I'm going to give my best every time. They're just going to hand it off to somebody who may not even be right for the part necessarily. But, you know, you're getting into a whole world of politics and business and marketing. And it's like, man, it's a, it's a Rubik's Cube <laughs> of things that you have to think about when you're making projects like this. So, uh, anyway, going back to my client, um, there are no consolation prizes in this industry. Do you know what I mean? If they picked you, it means you were the best actor for the job. And yeah, they couldn't get the name they wanted, so they went with the talent. And you need to be really, really proud of yourself for being the talent. You know what I mean? Even if the talent was the second choice. The right person gets the part. I like to say that a lot. It's the right person gets the part. You know? the right. You have to be the right talent, the right look, the right time, the right place, the right rate. The right, you know, everything. So it's the right person who gets the part. And congratulations. Be proud of yourself. I watched your audition. You held that part. You are clearly born to play that part, and that's that. Moving on. Okay. Ah, I feel so much better that I got that off my chest. All right, man. Madness, dude. Madness. Okay, I got my food on the table over there. I got Lamar waiting for me on Skype. Got my jacket still on. I got Billy tripping. What do you want, dude? You have food here. You have food. You have food. All right, fine. I'll give you your medicine. Happy cat. Take care of the puppies. 
Oh. So, the taste of everything is like, everybody is, um, it's just like super invested um, into the project. Everyone is very, um, yeah, just like is in love with, with the work and the material. The material is so good. Um, and man, like, when I first auditioned for this character, I didn't necessarily know what exactly he, what his part was. Like, remember I was talking, I'm like, yeah, you know, there's this guy, I don't really, like, you know, I'm not really, like, into him because he's kind of like, you know, that stereotypical kind of, mm-hmm. you know, whatever, whatever, he's in the car, he gets pulled over, blah, blah, blah. But dude, when I tell you the challenge and the amazing art that he has in the show, it's incredible. These are one of those roles, you know what I mean? This is one of those roles that you, that you dream of. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, big production, complex characters. Just, you know, it, yeah, this project has just been such a blessing, man. Everybody, cast, crew, filmmakers, everybody, everybody just like awesome. Everyone's super passionate, you know what I'm saying? And like knows that we're, we're making something special. Good morning. It is Saturday, October 13th. No, Saturday, October 12th. They're doing work on the uh, Gardner Expressway this weekend, so it's closed down. It's really eerie to not have cars on it. It's like uh, The Walking Dead or something. Nice, crisp morning. I have one client who uh, I need to jump on a phone call with. I think there's he's having some kind of emergency. Um... It's like, it's like I got one of those text messages like, you have time to talk, five minutes to talk, you know what I mean? So on a Saturday morning, that usually means something's up. We'll find that out in about five minutes. Just let me wake up here for a second. <laughs> Yeah. I sent it to a month ago for Charles, and I feel like I did a good job. Going off of what I did with Charles, they should know I'm yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a compliment that they want you. I know that they want you in the movie. That's why they're calling you back to do it. It's almost like they're going to throw you a bone, it feels like. But no, throw me a bone. You saw what I did? You know what I mean? If you really want me, throw me a bone. You get to these levels and you think like, you book a bunch of things and you see yourself in, in, in and it's it's our egos, you know what I mean, really, at the end of the day. Um, we see ourselves at a certain level with a certain respect and, you know, one day you wake up and like nobody respects you. You just get done. And people are just like, they just look at you like, oh, damn. Uh, well, yeah, what are you gonna do, bro? Anyway, you gotta, you gotta stand up, stand up for yourself. Yeah, of course, dude. All right, brother. Yeah, no worries, man. Talk to you soon, bro. Peace. Hey, 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 and how much do I think that is bullshit? I think exactly where you let it is where it should be. Curiosity, concern, you know, the things you expect. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good, eh? It's funny about that for me. It's safe. I'm more skeptical off the top. More skeptical? Yeah. Okay. Oof. That's so creepy. Really good. Really good to you. I think so too. Right? 
was, but you actually would be, you would listen to every word I fucking say. You said, say. I like need to know. You need to know, and... And I'm reading you. You, you need to read me. You, you do play a bit like, you, you're, you're American, like, tr- like do what I want. Yeah, like, I just told you I did it. Yeah, yeah, you said, yeah, you definitely can play that, for okay. sure. Okay. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Hello, world. <laughs> Still in trouble, everyone? Yeah. yeah. See some magic? So, the 76ers thing is just to open up the conversation. Yes, completely. You think he's a Sixers fan? Right. Good. Yeah, that's great. That's why you're just using it. And then when he goes, I'm a Knickerbockers fan. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, no. You're caught off guard. Yeah, but yeah, hey, right. you're good at your job. Yeah. You're going to make this work. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. I'm a doctor in the city. No, sir. Working in the manure. Everything's just to find that information. Right. System ready, you see that, right? Jeez, like, no! You see that? I almost lost it. It's like a, like a once in a lifetime lotto chance to throw your recycling out of the Jesus, man. How's your arm feeling? Oh, you're still in the bin, buddy. Oh, no, yeah. It's nothing when you have to do like sharp turns and stuff. I don't know if it's a shoulder tendon muscle or something. Jesse, I had to put a ice patch and an ice pad on his shoulder. Yeah, hopefully it feels better, sweetheart. Yes, baby. Thank you. I put that, yeah, I put that ice for my Jesse, baby. Make you feel better, sweetheart.